Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Klonoa. So, we're going to continue on through uh, Vision 6 2 here, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. One gem away from another hundred, so another extra life. Hooray! And uh, hopefully, the next room with the uh, three switches is not as annoying as that last one, because uh, yeah. It's a little hard telling those were in the background there. God, I saved that heart now. Uh, I really don't need that heart, but I want the gems. Alright, so we have one more to go. So. Oh, that was close. Oh, crap, I'm being chased. Uh, it's not worth it. I can't get it now, I'm afraid. Uh, bird, do you want to spawn? Hello? Oh. That also works. Alright. Sorry I missed that piece, guys, but I'm not going back for it. Like I said, I'm not getting 100% anyway, so screw it. It's just not worth it. Oh boy. Why can't the bird fly up just a little higher? Well, that was pointless. I took two hits for nothing. Why am I even still trying? I should just barrel through. Screw it. But then again, you don't get that much post hit invincibility, so maybe not. There. Stupid plant thing. Come on, get over here so I can get rid of you. There. Yeah, right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Moving on. Oh, I thought I could avoid that. Failed twice in a row. That's not good. Oh, boy. That time is just right. Yes, alright. There we go. Um, can I even reach high enough to hit this thing? No, I cannot. Good to know. Oh, come on, how'd I get hit by that twice? Come on now. Oh, man. Oh, that sucked. First time dying by losing too many hearts. Yeah. Literally gone through this entire game, only dying by falling, and now all of a sudden that happens. That sucks. It would help, uh, you know, if the thing wasn't giant. Like, seriously, come on now. I know this is supposed to be harder since it's the last level and all, but that doesn't excuse bad design like that. Like, seriously? Okay, there we go. Never mind, I was just neat. I should have been trying to get on the platform instead. Well, you can't blame me for not thinking about that. Come on now. You guys know I'm not the brightest in the brightest bulb in the pack. Come on, come on. In all seriousness, though, why did this thing have to be giant? Come on now. Yeah, uh, better yet, why, why did these creatures have to make a comeback? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just coming up with excuses at this point for dying. There we go. Okay, there's the switch. So, yeah, you can kill them on the ground. So, yeah, I wasn't a complete idiot after all. What am I doing? Why am I coming over here? I don't know. I don't know why I'm bothering. I missed the other piece earlier, but whatever. Whatever. We're almost done with this game, so what's it matter? What's it matter at this point? Flip the switch and let's go. Hey. Yeah, let, let, let's just uh, just show you know that how easy this game really can be. If you're going to die, it's probably going to be from falling. It's rare you die from losing too many hearts, I find. At least here in the remake. And the original, you only get six hearts, so I imagine it's a little bit more easy. But at the s And also, your ring is a lot shorter, too. The ring shot is a lot shorter, so... Maybe it's a problem in the original, but again, I've only really played the original once, and I didn't even finish it, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Play for a little bit, I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather just play the Wii one again. Again, no no offense to the original and people that like it. It's a good game, no doubt about that. I wouldn't be playing the remake if I didn't think the original was cool and whatnot. But the simple truth is I just like the remake better. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah. Just have to wait for him to throw that boomerang, that's all. I'm gonna take some unnecessary damage just because screw it, I got the damage, so why not? Forgot the hearts. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, I hope, because I'm not good at explaining things. So is there literally nothing over there but that uh, one enemy to try and throw onto that one thing? Well, guess what? I didn't need him. I did it without him, so yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up here because, uh, this took forever. Spoiler alert. Because, uh, look, look at this crap. This is ridiculous. How are you supposed to sit or hit all three of these switches like this? Like, come on. This is madness. Oh, man. It's like, you clear one and then another one immediately, you know. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Oh man. Yep, this this is the one that brings nothing but heartache, seriously. Oh my god. Yes, it literally took me this long, guys. You are so fortunate that I'm fast forwarding through this, trust me. Alright. Here's a successful attempt. There we go. About freaking time. So do I feel accomplished after all that? No. Not really. If I just want to be honest. I was one hit away from dying again. Yeah. That, that, that's just a bad design switch layout. I'm just going to say it like it is. The other ones were at least, you know, challenging but clever. But that one is just annoying and not fun to replay. So, uh, yeah. Just my opinion, you know, some people may be like, yeah, it's hard, but it's rewarding. Not to me. To me, that is just annoying. As I always say, there is a major difference between being fun and challenging and hard and unfun. And that was hard and unfun. Alright. I'll still take that, still take that over old level or vision 5-2 though, seriously. Like Vision 5 2, what can I say? So, the Nightmare Crystal Nahatu will soon be ready. But what is it about this one dream? This strange dream that won't be consumed by nightmares. It must be eliminated. I have to find it and destroy it. The creation of Nahatu must be perfect. So they've come. Foolish travelers of dreams. think they'd have the decency to uh, fill up my life bar before uh, the boss fight. You have no chance. Yeah. 
probably going to die. Just saying. That's that. Yeah, this guy's boss fight. Pretty cool if I say so myself. Uh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Uh, uh. Yeah, I got to hit that. There we go. You have no, chance. no, he's right. I have no chance. So yeah, those green orbs, you want to avoid those because uh, that's how you get sent to that outer area like I was. And uh, I don't think you can damage him in the outer area, so yeah. Oh crap, not again. Yeah, I gotta admit, I feel kind of bad for Gaudius, you know? The world rejected him and didn't give him a chance, so now he's, now he's just, you know, upset and kind of wants to reject the world himself. Like, I can understand why he's evil and whatnot, you know? Again, I say I wish we had more cutscenes with him, so he could explain himself a little bit better. But at the same time, I get it, you know. You know, the world rejected him without giving him a chance, and now he's just, you know, angry at the world. Yep. Bit of a generic uh, villain thing, but still, not bad. I like it. And his design is really cool, too. Interesting that you never see his eyes, just that mask, which is, uh... In my opinion, pretty creepy looking. Kind of reminds me of a Plague Doctor mask, if I'm honest. Yeah, but anyways, try this again. And this time, I have a full health bar, so I have a better shot now. Again, I say, they should have filled up my life bar before the boss, but no, they didn't have the decency to do that. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But as for this boss fight itself, it's fine. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites again. I like that there's actual challenge here. Uh, a little harder than Joker, in my opinion. But not quite as fun, I think, personally. Let's see how you like this. Whoa, what the heck? This is trippy. What is going on? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh, are those enemies attached to those, uh... Whatever they are? I don't know. Also, I gotta ask, Gaudi's mentioned something about a strange dream. What's he talking about? A strange dream? I, I don't know. I don't know. What What's going on here, guys? What is this strange dream he's speaking of? I don't know. But he's almost done now. Time for something different. Uh, no, that looks pretty similar, if I'm gonna be honest, dude. I'll play with you oh, you'll play with me? That's nice. What are we playing? Uh... Round we go. Huh? Oh. You spin me right round. Uh, yeah. I don't know the rest of the song. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's how I can send you back over there is if you hit the yell spear. Yeah, this, this boss fight is really trippy and I love it. It's pretty... It's like, the more I think about it, yeah, this is really fun. Yeah, so you'll point out where to go. You want to hit the spear so you can open it, but just be warned. That yellow spear can now send you back to the outer ring where you can't fight him, so be careful of that. Uh oh, right on me. I don't have to always point out where it's going. Uh, come on, give me an enemy. There we go. One more hit. Almost done with him. This again? Okay. Bring on, Gaudius. Back to this? That's fine. I actually prefer that over the last one of them, honest. Right. There we go. Vision 6 tooths cleared. And guys just explodes for no apparent reason. Yes. 
against it. I wanted to be the one to get rid of that guy. Wonderful. I just knew you two would be able to do it. With this peace return. Very good. Very good indeed. I'm glad you're both unharmed. Mother, we did it! We defeated him! I guess this means it's finally over, isn't it? I wouldn't be so sure. I already have more than enough nightmare energy. The body of the songstress Lefice will be taken over, and Nahatu will at last be brought to life. through a prism and become the building blocks that give form to the world of Phantom Isle. So long as the power of dreaming exists, no one will ever be able to stop Nahatu. Hear me, strange dream. This world is coming to an end. And the perfect nightmare is about to begin! <laughs> Wait a minute, Klonoa is the strange dream? What? Ugh, sorry, I lost my voice for a second there. Klonoa is the strange dream he's talking about. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, maybe we'll find out in the next part. Uh, anyways, we got another boss, and I'll see y'all then. Later.